Hello, hi everyone. I feel like it's been absolutely weeks since I've actually had access to this camera. Um, I found the charger back in Dundee, as you can see. Found the charger, and um, yeah, I've literally half charged the battery. Um, oh, the dryer's on. One second. Okay, I don't know why it wants to wash me out, but it is what it is. I thought I should probably get back to posting on the YouTubes and um, I will be doing a little bit of vlogging. Today it is Thursday, as I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I have had a cold um, for the majority of this week and more than anything it's really affected my sleeping routine. I was completely flipped again, which is so frustrating because I had a really good routine going of waking up at 9.30 and um, or like sorry, starting my work by 9.30 and following a routine, but yeah, I think I'm just like, it's, you know, the weather's freezing cold. So many people in the house are slightly poorly, but Alhamdulillah today I'm feeling better. I've had a shower, put some makeup on for the first time since the weekend, and Alhamdulillah I'm feeling better. Um, I've just put some waffles in the toaster. I'm gonna eat that, and then Mara is picking me up. I'm gonna be chilling with Maz, and we are gonna be talking about our new podcast, which is super exciting. I really need to dig out my little tripod but yeah so basically you might have seen our video talking about like we responded to comments um on the living with in-laws video and we really enjoyed doing that and then we were like you know what why don't we start a podcast why not um we kind of talked with the idea before but now we're living like five minutes away from each other it makes so much sense it's going to be so much easier to do so so over black friday period we picked up our microphones our mic stands and the sound recorder thing, feeling very official and technical here. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just so excited to get started on it. Now we are gonna be starting next weekend, but today we're just brainstorming and definitely leave in the comments below um, what you wanna see, because by the time this video is up, we'll have started like the process of filming it. So yeah, exciting times. Because it's been a while, how are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments below. Did you guys pick up anything on Black Friday? Because that weekend like came and went. Um, I was pretty good. Like I had a list of things that I wanted um, slash needed, mostly needed. But I didn't get everything on the list because yeah, unfortunately I felt like the deals were not as good as I'd hoped, especially Amazon. Like I had like quite a few things in my Amazon basket thinking, oh we're gonna go down over Black Friday period. They actually didn't, so that was disappointing. But I did get my very first, our very first, Dyson Hoover, which is super exciting. I was asking you guys on Instagram like what you recommend and actually a lot of people did recommend Shark, but I do feel like with Dyson, it's you know, it's Dyson, it's such a well-known brand and I know some people are like looking at this shaking their heads right now like no I can't believe you got Dyson some people are in my DMs like don't get Dyson and then other people in my DMs like listen trust me get Dyson even if you get a refurbished one from eBay it will last you years now I did end up going for again slightly controversial but the cordless model because I'm all about convenience and I know that if I can just like pick up my vacuum cleaner and whiz around the house with it I will be much more likely to vacuum every single day, even though you don't need to do that, but you know. I've had a Henry vacuum in my life for the last three years. Previous to that, I had a Dyson Animal, but it was corded. And even that's quite heavy, like mum and dad have that one. And they've had that one for like 12 years, mashallah, and it's still going. I mean, it could do with replacing by this point. But yeah, the fact that it's lasted so long definitely gave me confidence in the brand. Um, so yeah, I went for the Dyson V8, which I will be showing you guys maybe tomorrow, um, hopefully tomorrow, because guess what this clever lady did she left her Dyson charger in MK where my family is so I left my charger there I left my new electric toothbrush there um, I did also leave Rumi there but obviously that was not by accident <laughs> um, we decided to let Rumi stay there for a couple of weeks it's a shower time honestly it's the best place for him he is so happy there he's got so much space there he loves the back garden it's really secure and no one's allergic to him there and it's just not fair for Baji Mariam, like my sister-in-law, to have to take antihistamines every single day and, um, and equally it's not fair for him to be like cooped up in one room or like in the side room, you know, it's just not, it's not fair. So although, you know, I'm really missing my cat hugely, it is the best decision um, that I'm really missing him. And they've all got really comfortable with him and they've got a little rotor going on, the kids with um, his litter tray, which is quite funny. Uh, 
<laughs> so yeah, I will hopefully be seeing him in a few weeks. I'll keep you guys posted. But yeah, mum has in posted my Dyson charger and my toothbrush. Um, so it should be coming tomorrow. I thought it was going to come today because it was first class yesterday, but it did not arrive today. So hopefully, inshallah, it will come tomorrow. Um, and yeah, apart from that, I really didn't get that much. Oh, I did reorder my new, uh, another version of my journal. Um, and if you haven't seen my video on my journal, I'll leave it here. It's actually talking about like 2020 goals. Did I meet them? It's quite a long video. Um, but I have done also a very short reel as well, which I might upload onto here. Um, just talking about why journaling has been absolutely game changing for me in the year of 2021. Genuinely, I feel like despite the amount of change that's happened and also obviously like we're still in the pandemic, mentally, alhamdulillah, I've been in a much, much better place, which has been amazing, which has been absolutely incredible. So yeah, a lot of that has got to do with journaling and um, that genuinely does make a big difference. I know a lot of people think about these sort of things as like fluff and you know, some people do think of like manifestation and stuff like that as fluff. You know, in Islam we don't manifest, we make dua, you know, it's kind of the same thing. But it's that belief it will happen, inshallah. Yeah, journaling has been a massive help. So I reordered my journal for 2022, got a different colour this time, which is exciting. And then I, do, I got like one makeup item. I will be doing some content on over the next couple of weeks. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please make sure you do. Because that is going to be kind of be like the main place that I'm doing my um, beauty stuff. And oh, I feel like I'm just talking at you guys right now. Oh, no. Let me take a seat. Hang on. I'm getting out of breath. A little update in terms of my content. So I have decided to make my channel pretty much 50-50 um, with the vlogs and beauty stuff. In terms of like real talk and things like that, uh, unless you guys specifically want to see a video from me talking about something, you will find our real talks every single week with our new podcast. So Mari and I are starting a podcast and so excited. We're going to be dedicating a day a week to recording. And then we're probably going to be end up recording two episodes a week so that we are never behind. Or Mari wants to go to Glasgow for the weekend, which obviously that's where her family live. Or if I am away for the weekend, we're not thinking, oh my God, we've got no content for this week. So we kind of want to have like a backlog of content, but we're wanting to figure out how we're going to make that work. So that's what we're doing today. We're getting together to brainstorm, but it's so exciting to be like collaborating on a new project. Um, you guys know obviously I've got button draft and I've got photography, but like this is the first time I'm doing something with someone else and like sharing ideas. It just it's that much more exciting, alhamdulillah. So yeah, very, very much looking forward to getting started with that and super open to ideas and topics and what you guys want to see. Because right, Maz is picking me up now, so I better look up and I will see you guys on the other side at Haz or maybe an Asda. Let's see. Three hours later. Guys, we ate so many snacks and a um, little bit of shame to say that I managed to finish off this whole packet. <laughs> Do some brainstorming and stuff. So, you know, podcast coming soon. <laughs> Forty-eight hours later. Hi guys, happy Sunday. Um, I'm not sure why the camera's flickering, so I'm not gonna spend too long on the slip, but I thought I would just end the vlog. Fortunately, it's a very short vlog because I spent Friday and Saturday in bed, and as you can probably tell, I'm still not 100%. Um, I've just got like a horrible, I started off as a sore throat, and then it just turned into like a head cold, a lot of phlegm, which is gross, a lot, a really, really horrendous migraine yesterday, I couldn't even face any kind of light, and yeah, it's just been pretty rubbish, essentially, but I'm hoping that I'm, like, on the path to recovery, and that, inshallah, tomorrow, I want to just get up at a normal time and have a productive week, so I, we did actually do a marathon of money heist yesterday, even though I was feeling, like, blah, but, um, it was quite nice, I actually just watched something, oh my god, this flicker. It was quite nice to just like watch something and keep my mind off what was going on. I don't know why this kid's flickering, it's just so annoying. Honestly, one of the best shows ever. If you're on the fence about watching it, you need to watch it. It's so, so good. And it's kind of a nostalgic show for us because it's the first show that we watched together as husband and wife. <laughs>
so guys my mum actually ended up having to send me this box because it is a box full of PR from the inky list which is super exciting um but I also managed to leave my brand new toothbrush at my parents house literally I got it like the week before um this is a fairy wall toothbrush hang on it's not focusing again and it's it's less of like a brushy brush it's more of a vibration brush if that makes sense it's got five settings on here which you will not be able to see because the lighting is not great but yeah i'm really happy to have this back and something else essential that i had left is my brand new dyson plug filled up my water bottle i'm having to get used to having like lukewarm water and um, i'm so i'm such a stickler for like cold water that is so bad for you but alhamdulillah i'm feeling like 70 percent myself now no fever all day um just taking it easy i'm a little bit worried that i i don't know like my mom was saying that i should go to get checked out and see if i need antibiotics and i was like no it'll be fine like it'll be fine but then now this is like so random but like i've just seen um Tommy Fury has cancelled his fight with um, one of you know the younger Paul brother, and he said it's because he had like a chest infection, which he had for like four weeks consecutively, but he didn't really like get checked out properly, and then end up doing a lot of damage, and his body got really weak. And in the last clip you just saw, I was trying to do some yoga, and I literally I find it so difficult to just do the basic, basic stuff. Like my body is aching, so I'm like, hmm. Am I doing the right thing here? I don't know. Today, I'm gonna to try and head to bed now. I did also end up binge watching season four of Suddenly Sunset. It's one of the only reality TV shows that I just absolutely love. Um, but it is a bit ridiculous. Like I feel like the last season, sorry if there's anyone who's watching who does watch it, but it was just completely the Christine show. And yeah, I feel like they could have showed a lot more cool houses. That's kind of one of the reasons why I love watching it is the houses and they are incredible. Um, and it wasn't that much. again with the horrible lighting but did my nails quite cute quite wintry and then i remembered that i had four of my plants upstairs fortunately one of them has died um but this one's okay it needs water this one's also bent and leaning but yeah wakar and i are desperately trying to catch up on this journal which we started on the 1st of January 2021. We are quite behind on it, but we're going to be doing like five to seven trees every single day to try and catch up, which I know is not the point, but we really do want to catch up on it. And we've also just done his personality test, um, and he got the same personality type that he got when we first got married as well, which is really interesting. But yeah, it was a really nice end today. Um, still pretty late, but alhamdulillah, I'm really starting to feel like myself again. Still a bit breathless, still a bit blech over here oh it's not a hijab right now so i can't really show you guys but um yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow inshallah tuesday is a better more productive day the next day hey guys so as you can see last night i actually was feeling quite a bit better alhamdulillah like i was feeling like myself um no fever all day yesterday and i even painted my nails and then about 7 30 in the morning i just woke up coughing my absolute guts out it was very grim and horrible so then we decided to stay up till about eight and then we'll go call the doctors we've got a covid test put in which is what i'm going for now and the doctor actually was a nurse she was really nice but she very rightfully was like you should have got tested like when the fever started because cough and fever classic symptoms and i said that oh, because i had so much phlegm i just didn't think and she was like no like that's, that doesn't mean that you wouldn't have had covid um she's like it's still worth getting tested now but you should have got tested as soon as you know those symptoms started i feel like i've been punched from internally in my chest like i think it's just how wide and coughs have been um, but yeah so she's basically prescribed me antibiotics not, she didn't prescribe her with amoxicillin, which is what Wakar had, because she said that's more like for your throat, and she was like, because your throat, is, like you're saying your throat is not a sore, like it's more sinusy. She prescribed me with another one, but then I was like, does that come in liquid form? And then she said, no, it doesn't. And I was like, okay, well, I do really struggle to take tablets, which is so annoying. Um, I was like, is there like any way that I can break it up and have it like with bananas or soft food and she was like no 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 like you can't 
it's, it's very strong, so to be honest, she can't be doing that. I was like, well, I guess I'm just going to have to, like, make it work. And then she was like, actually, you know what, no, I'm just going to prescribe you penicillin that you can get in a liquid form. Good news is that I'm still, I still got my appetite. She was also saying that's really good. Alright guys, this is the nasal spray that I've been prescribed. She said that you can only use it for five days. If you use it for more, it's going to do the exact opposite and send your sinuses into overdrive. And I'm actually checking myself as to why I didn't go to doctors earlier. I don't know why I did that. And then I've got two bottles of penicillin. Alhamdulillah for being in Scotland and having fast service with the NHS and free medication. Honestly, that is a big, big game changer. Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Um, the antibiotics have definitely kicked in. And I'd, I've had like a four days dosage now. And yeah, I don't feel as weak anymore. Um, I can tell, but it's just like working from within. And I'm, I'm so grateful. Um, I know I look an absolute wreck. My skin is angry with me. My under eye circles are just out of, out of control. But, you know, this is the reality of being ill. Um, See, so yeah, I'm still isolating, although the kids did come in today for a little bit and uh, saw them from a distance and it was so nice to see them. Really, really miss them. Yeah, it's just nice to feel a bit like more like myself. I don't want to speak too soon, but alhamdulillah, I'm just very grateful. Not had the COVID test result back yet. So, hoping that that is um, all okay. Um, and then, yeah, honestly, such a blessing. And yeah, I think I'm actually going to start editing this video now because it's Wednesday. I want to get this up for Sunday and then like, I don't feel rubbish now. I've still got some congestion going on here. Um, and my, I, I feel like my lungs and my chest are just still a bit weak but nothing like the way yesterday. So yeah, feeling very positive alhamdulillah and very very grateful. Hello everyone, so it's Thursday and alhamdulillah I am feeling so much better. I know you can't exactly tell by my voice because it's still a bit <laughs> um, but yeah, I just did my first makeup since last Thursday, yeah, in a whole week, which isn't that long, but you know, I just feel good. Made a little Instagram reel from it, filmed this as a tutorial, so if you want to see this makeup look, it will be up. It should be up already, actually. I think I said in the video that my Black Friday haul will be up, but I'm actually just going to edit the makeup video and put this up for today, so super last minute. And then the Black Friday haul will be up next week, inshallah. I'm not sure if I'm going to film that yet. I'll wait for my Pat McGrath palette. I don't know what to do. But I am going to bring this vlog to an end here. Tomorrow I've got like a photography stuff, like a shoot of my first event in a while. I think since October. So yeah, in like two months. Um, and then Saturday I've got a baby shoot, which I'm really excited about. I'm feeling a little bit breathless, so I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a very blur, sick week, but sometimes it be like that, you know? It be like that. Uh, I'll see you guys very soon in my next video, and inshallah, there will be vlogs every single Sunday. And I also feel like my vlogs are pretty boring. Like It's not like I've got, I lead this exciting life, but you guys seem to enjoy them. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for the love and support, and... What we the was, I mean the world, and I will see you very soon um, in my next video, which will be on Thursday. Bye!